Hawkins County School hopes it can continue a four day work week next semester. Clinch School is the only school in the state to have a shortened week. The idea came after two mudslides blocked major roads leading to the school earlier this year, adding more commute time for teachers. Each day begins and ends with extra time to make up the lost day. Tenure reporter Amelia Young explains how the four day week has helped students inside the classroom. Amelia. John, four days of school with a three day weekend originally was set in place to help clinch school teachers. The school had 100% support from the community because they didn't want the teachers to leave. And after three months, the shortened schedule also improved academics and helped financially. It didn't take long for clinch school students and teachers to adjust to a new norm. 730 to 345 Monday through Thursday. I was excited. It was giving me plenty of time. Free time and free space. I spend more time with my family. A small community of only 136 K through 12 students has nothing but praise for their four day weeks. And I think it's focused some of them more. I think they're happier because they know they're getting that extra day. It's really it's been positive all the way around. And our morale is good. Principal Denise McKee says the extra day at home hasn't been a burden for Hawkins County parents. Families here either work from home or uh, are truck drivers or um, farmers. And less time in the classroom has only improved morale to do better. We have not regressed. We've either stayed the same or improved. I haven't seen any negatives as far as, you know, uh, academics or grades or anything like that. Parents surveyed found the change positively impacted their child's achievement and attendance. Most would like to see the short week stay throughout the school year. While only temporary, the hope is to make the switch permanent. This would be an incentive uh, to attract future employees mm -hmm. and also to add more programs because of the financial savings. Financially, the shortened week saves money in areas like transportation, food, utilities and substitute teachers. It's nice that we can pilot this and maybe others follow our lead. And the principal says the shortened week can pose challenges like getting kids to activities, including sporting events on Friday nights. The four day week officially ended today as Christmas break begins. The leaders hope to extend it into next semester as some of State Route 70 is still under repair. John Amelia Young on the story. Thank you.